10 free agent point guards the Lakers can sign this offseason. Dennis Schroeder was the only real point guard on last season's Los Angeles Lakers roster. The German player is a free agent this summer and is expecting a contract somewhere in the range of $100 to $120 million. The Lakers can't even come close to offering him that amount of money, which means that he's already gone and the team is left with no point guards at all. I mean, LeBron James sometimes can cover that position, but he'll definitely not spend a lot of time doing that since he is 36 years old. So the Lakers general manager, Rob Palenka, will have to sign at least two point guards this offseason in order to cover that position. Getting real power via a trade is also an option, but the easiest way is to sign a free agent. Therefore, we have a list of 10 free agent point guards who might move to LA this summer. So here we go. Number 10, Trey Burke. Trey Burke has been on five teams in eight seasons in the league and his role has varied. The good thing is, he always found a way to adapt and help his team. He's an explosive and athletic point guard who's able to penetrate and hit long distance shots. His role with the Mavs last season wasn't as big as he expected. After a stellar performance in the NBA bubble the previous season, including a 31 point performance against the Houston Rockets and averaging just over 12 points per game in the playoffs, the Mavs decided to bring him back but he averaged only 14.7 minutes per game this season. Being 28 years old, Burke is entering the prime of his career and is definitely seeking a bigger role. Why not with the Lakers? Number 9. TJ McConnell If you were following TJ McConnell this season, you would have seen that he was reaching all new heights in his career with the Indiana Pacers. McConnell became one of the best defensive players in his position and one of the most productive ones given the number of minutes that he gets per game. TJ led the league in steals last season with 128 in 69 games or 1.9 per game and had a season high 10 steals against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Over the years, McConnell has shown his worth of being a more than reliable backup point guard and a great spark off the bench. He's electric when he's on the court, plays with a high level of intelligence and confidence and is 100% all heart. Number 8. Michael Carter Williams the 2018 NBA Rookie of the Year has failed to find a long-term home in his first eight seasons of his career. He's been with the Orlando Magic the past three seasons, but due to injuries, has played in only 88 games in that period. Carter Williams is finally at 100% and is ready for new challenges. He's put himself in such good shape that an ordinary Instagram post of him practicing got him drug tested by the league. He's one of the tallest point guards in the league with a huge wingspan, which makes him a great defender. He'll probably fit in the Lakers system both as a starter or as a sixth man. Number 7. George Hill Just like MCW, George Hill is another great defender but with much more experience and success. Hill was part of the 2018 Cleveland Cavaliers when he, alongside LeBron, made it to the NBA Finals where they lost to the Warriors. He's already 35 years old and anything but playing for a contender is not an option for him. He has a player option for the next season and is expected to use it to move to the Lakers. Number 6. Goran Dragic Dragic is a reliable point guard who can bring consistency and veteran presence in the Lakers locker room. He's been a long way from a Steve Nash student to an all-star. Reaching an all-star level, he didn't have any issue to be a six-man for the Miami Heat, which is an attitude that the Lakers need. Despite being 35 years old, the Slovenian point guard is still capable to play high-paced basketball and finish strong at the rim. His shooting is constantly getting better, which is a reason more for the Lakers to sign him. Number 5. Austin Rivers It's safe to say that last season went nothing as planned for Austin Rivers. He inked a three-year deal with the New York Knicks in November, was out of the rotation by mid-February, traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder in March, and unemployed days after that. He almost lost his place in the NBA, but his short stint with the Denver Nuggets showed that he belongs there. Replacing injured Jamal Murray in the Nuggets starting lineup, Rivers quickly adapted, which proves that he has an amazing basketball IQ. His shooting percentage is still questionable, but with his passing and playmaking skills, he can be a great asset off the Lakers bench. Number 4. Reggie Jackson Reggie Jackson's stock was fairly low when he landed with the Clippers as a buyout signing at the 2020 trade deadline. He had suffered through a variety of injuries in his final seasons with the Pistons, and afterward, he could only get a minimum salary deal from the Clippers. 
Even though he was inconsistent during the regular season, Jackson took his game to another level in the playoffs, especially after Kawhi Leonard's injury when he averaged 21 points per game in the series against the Utah Jazz. Now, when he is fully back and has shown what he is able to do, he's ready for a new challenge and maybe even a starting role on the Lakers. Number 3. Kyle Lowry Lowry has been on the Lakers wish list for years now and it's about time to finally move to LA. He's been playing with a chip on his shoulder his entire career but has emerged from a questionable point guard to an all-star and an NBA champion. Both the Lakers and Lowry have expressed mutual interest in joining forces and expected Lowry to sign this offseason. He's not the fastest point guard in the league nor the most athletic but he has all the skills and experience to help the Lakers go back to the top of the league. Number 2. Lonzo Ball Lonzo entered the league as the second overall pick in the 2017 NBA Draft and his move from UCLA to the Lakers created a huge hype. His father LeVar and his behavior added even more pressure to the young player who just couldn't meet the expectations. After two seasons, the Lakers included Lonzo in the package to New Orleans which brought them Anthony Davis. Since then, Lonzo's game has seen a major development. Right now, he can even be considered a reliable shooter. The Lakers fans would love to see him back in LA and as things stand at this point, it's time for a reunion. So before we go on and see who is the best available point guard that may join the Lakers this offseason, make sure you like the video and comment down below about your favorite part of the video and also let us know which players you want to see on the Lakers roster for the next season. Also, make sure you subscribe to the Top 10 Everythings channel with the notification bell on. Number 1. Derrick Rose D. Rose had a fantastic season with the New York Knicks, being one of the key players that took the Knicks to their first playoff appearance after 8 years in a drought. With his regained athleticism and explosiveness, he often reminded us of his best days with the Chicago Bulls. LeBron James is a huge fan of Rose's game and would love to see him by his side once again. Given the fact that Rose will be 33 years old at the start of the next season, he'll definitely want to play for a contender. Knowing what he has been through in his career, we would all want to see him win the championship, right? Thank you for watching Top 10 Everythings, and I'll see you next time with another amazing video.